Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at the Easings Manager and how to take advantage of some of its advanced features. In our Smoothies to Door Sample project, the Order Ingredients button animates using a simple Ease Out animation. Let's use the Easings Manager to liven it up a little. To bring up the Easings Manager, we click on the Easing icon next to the Order Ingredients button item and then click on the Easing Type value. The Easings Manager allows us to pick an easing from the list on the left. When doing that, we can immediately see a sample of what the animation looks like. On the right, we can also change the power and duration of an animation. Now let's change the power to Elastic. We can preview the animation on the item we applied to it by clicking the Play button next to the Timeline bar. Now, let's go back to the Easings Manager and take a look at some more complex easings. The Cubic Bezier easing allows us to create beautiful customizable animations by dragging the handles on each of the ends of the curve. We can also adjust the curve more precisely by entering values in the input boxes below. Let's preview this easing. Looks good. Notice that the easings icon shows a preview of the type of easings used. Also notice that when hovering on the easing icon, we get a tooltip that shows the type of easing and the duration of the animation. Back to the easings manager. Let's have a look at Spring RK4, which is a very interesting type of spring easing. We can customize this by changing values for tension, friction, and velocity. Notice that the duration of the easing depends on these three values. It's automatically calculated and we can't change it individually. Let's preview the easing. Great. Once we've set up an easings, we can easily reuse it in multiple places in our projects. To do this, we need to create an easings preset back in the easings manager. We click the plus icon at the bottom left. This opens up the easing preset editor based on the easing we had selected, in this case, Spring RK4. We can give the preset a name and optionally change the actual values of the underlying easing. We can also choose to use this preset as the default easing for all animations we create from now on. Having applied this Spring preset to the Orders Ingredients button, let's also apply it to other areas in our project. The Slide In menu is a nice candidate for this type of animation. It currently slides in and out of view using a simple Ease Out easing. Let's change that. We click on the easing icon next to All Items. In the Easings Manager, we select the preset we created previously. The preset is automatically applied and the timeline adjusts to reflect this. Let's preview how the animation looks. Nice. To edit the preset, we enter the Easings Manager and click the Edit icon at the bottom. Any changes we make will be applied to all animations that use this preset throughout our project. Additionally, we can duplicate an easing preset. Notice that each preset is given a different color when created. These colors help us visually identify similarities or differences in the easings used on the various items in the timeline. Finally, back in the Easings Manager, we can also delete a preset by pressing the Delete icon. And that's it for easings. Thanks for watching.